some people always say that football builds character, but that's true, but I think football reveals character in the sense that, I mean, it's a team sport, it brings people together, and, you know, it shows what you're really made of, like, like especially us this season. To really battle through that as a team really showed how much this this uh, season meant to us. There was somebody different. We had a hero, it seems, every game. Uh, there was a different guy stepping up. So we had two juniors play a uh, significant amount of time. It was Joe Burns and uh, Alex Ito Guadalupe. Alex played a tremendous job on the line, D-line for us this year, and Joe Burns did a tremendous job as a slot receiver, you know. We had a very hard schedule that was coming up in the middle of the season. Uh, with, with difficult games against New Canaan and Greenwich, and that seemed to be a jump-off point for our effort. I think that the Trinity game, the New Canaan game, definitely was a turning point of our season because uh, in uh, New Canaan and Greenwich combined, because we'd never beaten Greenwich before, and uh, in the New Canaan game, we pulled that one off, and you know that was like a dream come true, beating New Canaan at home. When we played New Canaan, I had talked to the MSG Varsity guys before the game about our defensive backs weren't making plays on balls in the air, and that was hurting us early in the year. Uh, there was a sequence in that game where we were up by a touchdown, and we knocked down three straight passes uh, by three different guys, uh, Kevin Rooney, Jerry Kramer, and uh, LJ Hunt. Throughout the year, every kid on a team uh, had their shining moment, so to speak. Uh, everybody came up big with uh, a play here and there. It uh, wasn't just uh, one or two guys. And there were seniors, as I said at that time, that really came forward and uh, played beyond expectations of not only the team and the coaches, but people on the outside watching us closely to see how we were going to do. Mostly our opponents, our competition in the league. And no one thought we could actually make a run to the States, but you know, we had no doubt on the team, and uh, you know, we really proved everyone wrong. I know I never lost faith in them. I never thought that at any point in time where this thing was going to fall apart. I just, I, I was confident in them, and, and uh, they just wanted to come out and play games, and, and uh, they did, and they, they were fantastic all year. And I felt the turning point was the progress made in the New Canaan game. It was a difficult game. It was a game that they meaning New Canaan, had used as a benchmark for where their team was going to be. And they were focusing on that, as was indicated in the press, that this was going to be their first test of the season. On the other hand, we thought that that was going to be our test to see how far we came through the trials and the tribulations of the injuries and how we were going to uh, play that particular game. This was, to date, going to be a very important game for us and a determining factor in what direction we we're going to follow, what path we we're going to go down. Tyler came back and we it was almost like with him coming back brought our swagger back and our confidence and um, not only is he a great player but he's a, a great leader. The celebration after the New Canaan game, I mean that game was, that game was crazy. I mean we were, we were up and then next thing you know they're coming right back and then Mulligan returns a kick, and then they score, and then Jerry makes that big play at the end of the game. And I mean, just to celebrate with the team after, and not only the team, like everyone that was part of the team, it was just unbelievable. And um, you know, things just kind of took off from there. Uh, you know, Tyler came back from the New Canaan game and gave us an emotional lift. Uh, it was, you know, a great game. Uh, you know, very competitive. We, we, we overcame some, uh, I'll say, bad calls. Uh, there was a fumble by New Canaan that we recovered, and it wasn't uh, ruled a fumble. And they went and scored and then came down and tied it up. Pat runs a, gets, they kick the ball off, and Pat runs at 91 yards. At the nine. Mulligan, left side. He's got some room. Pat Mulligan to the 50. Mulligan cuts it back in. Here comes Mulligan. Mulligan to the house! How about it, Pat Mulligan? 91 yards! It was, it was amazing. It was, everybody did what they had to do, fell in place. And when Jerry sealed the final block on the, on the kicker, I believe, uh, Pat looped around the other side of the field and just took off. And 
I remember him laying down on the sideline, and I thought it was over then. But then they got the they went down the field again and scored. But now there's 11 sec, not even less than 11 seconds left, and uh, Jerry makes a great play on the two point conversion. And you know that was kind of uh, the story of our season because you know we faced all that adversity, but we kept bouncing back and bouncing back. And that you know as a coach, that's really satisfying to watch that uh, every single kid you know did something that was really big and really important uh, to carry us to the title you know there were so many great things that happened and you really can't point to one guy and say well if this guy made the play of the game or this guy uh, if he wasn't there we wouldn't have won it, it was you know a total team effort we go against Greenwich a team we never beat before uh, being Greenwich you know we don't beat them in lacrosse we never beat them in football Greenwich was a huge game because we knew all week, the, the motto all week, what we were told, especially right before the game, it, um, it was when we're in. And uh, we won, we were in the playoffs. And uh, we, we gutted it out, we won the game, and I remember uh, we kinda, on the spot, a play was drawn up. It was, um, we were running the ball, either LJ or Tyler, the whole game for the first down. And now we needed one more first down for them to run out of timeouts and finally uh, end the game. And it was, a. Uh, and we ran a fake to, uh, I think, to Tyler. And Joe looped around and kept the ball and ran for the first down to seal the victory. And it was just great because that it kind of we just kept coming together and we we knew how to play together as a team. And uh, right then I knew you know we were going to go to the state playoffs and we were going to win the whole thing because you know, these kids weren't going to be denied. There's no feeling to describe winning a big game like that. It's just spectacular. It was very rewarding to see the self-reflection that took place, and practice became almost game-like conditions. From then on out, it was up moments. They willed their success for the rest of the season. They chose to go in a positive direction and that losing was no longer going to be an option for them.